All right, hello, welcome everybody back to Pocket Programmer Desktop Edition. Uh, came across a problem the other day when doing Ursina and using the D-pad on the game controller, and I just kind of wanted to uh, work through what I did. So let me start by trying to show you exactly what it was that I typed up, and then we'll see what the problem is and everything else. So we have from Ursina import everything. We want to define our update. For now, I'm going to leave it as a pass, though that's where the problem was. And then we're going to define input with the key. And I'm going to have something called a cube. So, um, well, you know, I'm just going to call it cube. Um, so let's set up the logic for moving this thing. So if key equals gamepad dpad up, then we are going to want to move the cube up. So cube dot y plus equals, oh, let's go 0 0.5. And then if we do gamepad, dpad down, we want to move it down 0 0.5. Um, hep equals Ursina. Cube equals entity model equals cube. And I don't have to do anything crazy with that. It's just going to make a white cube, but I'm doing this for effect. And this is what it's going to look like when we run it. All right, so we have our cube. And if I press down on the gamepad, it works. If I press up on the gamepad, it works. Everything as it was supposed to be. Please note that was under the input, moving things up and down. If I hold down, it only moves down once. If I hold up, it only moves up once. And that's that. Okay, so in our game, maybe we want to be able to hold the D-pad and move our cube up or down. So we're going to basically have the same stuff that you see here, only in the update. So instead of if key equals, we're going to do if held keys, gamepad, dpad, up, and we're going to slow it down a little bit because otherwise it goes zipping off the board, and uh, if held keys, gamepad, dpad, down, cubed at y minus equals 0.1. And I'm going to delete this stuff down here, but I'm also going to do one other thing just so you can see. Uh, you might not be able to see, but based on how this is recorded, I'll know though. Uh, I'm just going to do print key. I don't know if I put a space there. That space does not belong there. So it's just going to print the key as we use it. So when I run this, in theory, I can just hold the up button and the key will go up. I can hold the down button and the key will go down. And then uh, down in this little area over here, it'll show what's happening. But based on how I'm recording this, I don't think you'll be able to see that part. So sorry, take my word for it. OK, so you can see my cube. First, I'm going to hold down, and it did what it was supposed to do. When I press up, nothing. You can't see me pressing up, but nothing's happening. My log is showing that I'm pressing gamepad d-pad up. Cube isn't doing anything. Only down works. Why is that? I don't know, but I did figure out a workaround. OK, so what is my workaround? Down around here, I need to rebind things. So what I need to do is I need to do input handler dot rebind. And I want to change gamepad dpad up to something else I don't think I'm going to use. How about the letter K? Why not? And what this means is anytime gamepad dpad up is pressed, the computer is going to think it's K. So now up here in my update, instead of gamepad dpad up, I'm just going to do K. And now let's see what happens. So let's press down again, as it's supposed to. And now when I press up, look at it go. So that's my little workaround. Is it perfect? Of course not. But does it work? Yes, it does. So if you were having the same problem I was having, hopefully you can see this as at least a solution to the problem, even if it's not the solution to the problem. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you again real soon.